What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Smartphone World. I was expecting so much more from CES, but as we can see every single year, CES has been losing its lackluster only because of the fact that next month we have the Mobile World Congress and it's just a way bigger event. I get the CES is in Vegas and Vegas is such a great happening place. It's just not showing me everything that I was looking for. Don't get me wrong, I definitely found out a lot of good things today and I'm going to be sharing them with you, which is very cool, but it's not really the flagship smartphones that I was looking for. We definitely found out some cool stuff, but not really what I was looking for. But before we get to CES, I'm going to talk a little bit about Apple again. and how they were talking about rolling out a new a couple of new smartphones actually before their normal September release now what I'm hearing believe it or not is a lower cost cost iPhone 5 which means that it would probably have a smaller processor smaller RAM but they're saying it's gonna have a bigger display okay well that actually might be a pretty cool thing except for the fact that it's going to be, you know, lower technology inside with a larger screen. Is this going to be a retina display? Seriously, if Apple does put out some piece of garbage like that where it's lower specs than the iPhone 5, a bigger display and not retina, we could see their sales plummeting. Plummeting. Now, they're also saying that the new iPhones are going to be getting Snapdragon processors, that uh, Sharp is going to be making the displays again because Samsung is completely out, and the iPhone 5S might actually have the same 4-inch display, and if you want the iPhone 5S mini with a larger display you're gonna to have to have less technology I'm telling you right now this better be all rumor but believe it or not I'm hearing like very confirmed sources stating this information is Apple really looking to stay a big competitor in the smartphone world because with these types of choices I could definitely see even more of their fans losing interest we already saw that in the fourth quarter of 2012, Apple did not sell as much as they wanted to. They lost $200 a share on their stock price. I'm seeing a little bit of a trend here. I mean, it's so sad that Steve Jobs is gone and this is what's happening to the company. It was such a great company to begin with. I mean, now, if you want to talk about companies that are doing terrific and actually, you know, record profits and record sales especially considering that they were number one to begin with I mean 8.3 billion dollars in profits on 53.6 billion dollars in sales for Samsung <laughs> they were selling 500 phones a minute 500 phones a minute How can you even compete with that? I get it. I get that there's a lot of Apple fans out there and stuff like that, but you can't compete with 500 phones a minute. I don't even think Apple could ever make that. That's just ridiculous. I had to let you guys know about that. Okay, now moving over to CES. The first thing I want to talk about, the one of the things that really shocked me and I actually loved, and I'm going to get one of these because... Who wouldn't want a 7-inch tablet with Jelly Bean by Acer for 150 bucks? Yeah, that's right, $150. I'm telling you right now, this thing looks pretty great. I mean, it's really thin. It's got a dual-core 1.2 gigahertz MediaTek processor, 8 gigs of internal memory, half gig RAM, micro SD slot, and Jelly Bean. Now, before I go any further, where, wasn't the big problem with older smartphones not getting Jelly Bean because they only had a half gig of RAM, 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, and that's why it wasn't able to get it? 
Why is this able to get it? I always wanted to know. Were they just making up those excuses just so they wouldn't have to, you know, pay out money for the upgrade? These are the kind of things I want to know. Now, the battery is going to be 2,700 mAh. Remember, it's going to, I mean, it's only 11 inches thin, 320 grams. This sounds like a pretty good winner. I mean, if anybody was looking for a cheap tablet, this one by Acer definitely seems like the winner. It's going to have a 1024 by 600 resolution display, so it'll be almost HD. <laughs> It's not that bad. I mean, look at that picture. Doesn't that look good? I'm telling you right now, I like it. Yeah, without a doubt. Now, Alcatel. Is that how you say it? Alcatel? A-L-C-A-T-E-L. -E well, that new Scribe HD LTE phone that they have going on, that thing looks sick. Did you check this thing out? It's going to be coming uh, with Jelly Bean. It's a 5-inch device, quad-core 1.4 gigahertz processor, 12-megapixel camera. I mean, this is full HD, too, 1080p. Not 720, 1080p. And it records 1080 on the main camera, 720 on the front-facing camera. This is a crazy-looking phone. I mean, it even looks sweet. I like the red around the, the bezel. Again, it does have, like, a little HTC feel to it. <laughs> We're running out of different ways you can make these phones, guys. I mean, they're going to look the same. They really are. You just, you're going to have to, you know, look into what's on the inside of these phones to decide what you're going to be getting. Now, I want to talk a little bit about chips, processors, because what the CES was this year was big news on processing chips. From who? From the new Tegra 4 and Qualcomm's new Snapdragon processors. Now, the Tegra 4, I definitely got more information about it. Now, how does 1.9 gigahertz quad-core sound to you with the ability to support three gigs of RAM? Yeah, and that's the one with 72 graphic cores. They're calling this the ultimate gaming chip. I mean, with 72 graphic cores, you're gonna be, your PC is not even that high. That's insane. I definitely want to find out when we'll see phones with this chip in it because I'll tell you right now, Qualcomm and Snapdragon, they're saying that their chips are going to be going out soon. And get this, their mid-range chip, the quad-core Crate 300 is what they're calling it. It's of course a quad-core, 3 gig RAM support, 1.9 gigahertz quad-core. Yeah, that's their mid-range chip, mid-range chip. Their higher range, that's the 400. Yeah, that's quad core too, but that's 2.3 gigahertz. And it also can support three gigs of RAM at 800 megahertz. It's definitely the step up. It's, you know, the two times 32 bit. Yeah, it's a serious chip. I mean, the resolution ultra HD, ultra HD, which means 4096 by 2304. What? And 7.1 surround sound it, it, it guys I'm telling you right now this is a crazy process a 75% better performance than the Snapdragon Pro that's for Pro yeah they're also saying that these chips are gonna get double to triple the battery power this is what I'm looking for guys this is the technology that we need to see we need to be able to have an 1800 or 2000 mAh battery that lasts two days because of the processor. And these new displays that, that we're seeing like in the Droid DNA, it uses so little power. This is the shit that I want to see in our new stuff, without a doubt. But that's definitely the huge news about CES. Well, that and, of course, we definitely got the full spec sheet on the Sony Xperia Z, ZLZ, whatever you want to call it, because it's going to be, I'm sure the ZL is going to be in the United States, the Z is going to be international. That also has a 1080p full HD display, 2 gigs of RAM, S4 Pro processor from Snapdragon. It should be getting released within a couple of months now. It's going to have Jelly Bean, and they're promising 
the new updated software by the summer. Well, we'll have to see about that one, because I simply don't believe them anymore. But I'm telling you right now, this is a sweet looking phone. I love the displays. The color looks great. It is a basic design around the outside. I hate the fact that that button is sticking out the side right there. It's... But you can all see the dedicated camera button, which I really love in smartphones, and I think every smartphone should have it instead of having to press it on the screen. It's just much easier when you're doing self pictures. I mean, not everybody uses the front facing camera to take pictures of themselves. I use the main camera because it's better resolution, the wide angle, well not with the droid DNA in their front wide angle, you could do it differently now, but technology is changing, but you don't see that in the front facing cameras of these. And that's why they have the dedicated camera button right here, that it would just make it so much easier. I'm just saying. But that is the Sony Xperia Z, ZL, it's full 1080, it's under 8 millimeters thin and it's water resistant. That's crazy. Crazy. Who else brought us smartphones? Why brought us some smartphones? Yeah, we definitely heard about their smartphones, but today I heard about their Ascend W1, their new Windows smartphone. Now this is why Windows smartphones will never go anywhere. I'm sorry. Yeah, Windows Phone 8 is great, but when you see the specs of these phones, this is definitely a low range smartphone, half gig RAM, four gigs of internal memory, 1.2 gigahertz dual core, four inch display. It's pathetic, guys. I mean, it's really, at least it has a micro SD slot. I mean, five megapixel camera, five? 720 recording who's gonna want this this better be a free phone like free they give you a, your first free month on your your phone bill that's what this should be because you can get so many so much better free Android devices I just I have no idea why Hawaii put this out why they're putting it out I mean four inch display And you thought I made fun of the iPhone? I'll tell you right now. I like the operating system of uh, Windows Phone 8, but not this much. No. Certainly not. Well, that's pretty much all I have about the event, CES. I was expecting a little bit more. Whatever comes out tomorrow, I will definitely be doing another episode for you to let you know. But for now, thank you for joining us, uh, Smartphone World. I had a good time. I hope you did too. Please give me some comments, click subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.